I was talking to a guy on Bumble yesterday who's 43 years old. Before we even started planning a date, he made a couple of sexual innuendos. Specifically, one of them said, well, if you want to have kids, we should start pretty soon, meaning tonight with a winky face. To which I responded, haha, slow down. And well, the reason he did that is because he's trying to throw out bait to see how you would react to it. Because a lot of you women are rolling out there in the world, just taking and taking and taking. And you don't, you don't want to give anything in return. You know that sexual activity is very important to men. So you play that game and you use that. See, a lot of men will fall for that and just let you keep using them and using them and using them without anything in return. So that's like a baiting question. And I'm glad. And all guys should do something like that to try to gauge where the woman's head is at. You will know pretty quickly if she's just trying to use you. And then when he asked me on a date, he picked a place that was walking distance from him, but it would take me a 15 minute drive to get to. He told me, okay, let's meet at this time. And I was like, wait, are you not going to offer to pick me up? To which he responded, oh, I'm actually in between jobs. I just had to sell my car. So unfortunately, I won't be able to pick you up. My and, and there's another bait question that he's throwing out there. He's trying to see how much effort you're going to put into it. Let's be re realistic here. 15 minutes away, that's nothing. You're acting like a spoiled brat. And he's trying to see what type of woman you are. Oh, no, because you can walk and I have to drive. Oh, I'm not going to be happy with that response was oh well then maybe you're not ready to date maybe now is not a good time and he said oh actually no problem like i can get you a taxi if you don't have a car to which i responded saying great that'd be great and then he had the nerve to tell me by the way i'm not that kind of guy who's a giver in relationships i will only give to my kids and my wife to exactly exactly good job bro put that out there basically saying look i'm not going to give you what you don't deserve you're not my wife. You don't have my children. You don't deserve to get wined and dine like you are. So it's good that he put that out there because that right there, those type of questions that you ask, those type of statements that you make, they ward off evil spirits. <laughs> Which I responded, okay. And then he kept on going, if you're looking for a sugar daddy, I'm not the one for you. And I said, what makes you think I'm looking for a sugar daddy? To which he responded, well, you don't really seem like one of those typical Dubai girls, like you were raised in Canada. So that's a huge reason why I actually swiped on you. And then I immediately unmatched without saying anything. Canada is part of Western society, okay? Canada, United States, Australia, I mean, and Dubai is on a whole nother level. That's all about money, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. You're not going to find no wholesome woman that's not interested in what you have because all those people over there have money for the most part, and these women want that, you know what I'm saying? So good on this guy for throwing out the bait. You know, and exposing this girl for exactly, you know, what she's, she's trying to do. So she knows that I can't pull this on this guy. And so, of course, she unmatches him because he doesn't give her what she needs. The next time you're afraid to ask a man for something, even as something little to pick you up for a date, just remember, when was the last time a man was afraid to ask you for sex? He asked me twice, but God forbid I asked him to pick me up. Then I'm a gold digger, I'm one of those typical Dubai girls, which I find so offensive, and I'm just looking for somebody to provide for me. Well, you know what's interesting is that you're going to give him a hard time because he asked you about that. But he's not supposed to give you a hard time because you're acting like a little stuck up conceited woman that's just trying to get men's money. You see how the double standard goes? And she thinks that she is super fine, bro. Guys, look, I mean, look at her. She's, you know, got to show off her cleavage, got to be real close to the camera. She thinks she's like a 10, but she's not. She is definitely average at best. But unfortunately, a lot of these women that are, you know, average, even below average, because you got so many men that are pumping their heads up, telling them they're so beautiful and you're, they're over tens and they deserve this and they deserve the world. And then you have women telling them, telling them the same thing. Their head is just so big to where they think they can just demand all these things. And when she said about having to walk, uh, drive 15 minutes, there's some women out there that if a man says, I can come pick you up or I can open the door, what are you doing? I'm an independent woman. What are you trying to call me weak? So it's like men have to constantly play this game. If you say one thing, she might take it this way. If you say another thing, she might take it another way. 
And I know that a lot of times when guys say something sexual, a lot of times it's just in a playful way so they can gauge and see how it goes. It's no different than a woman saying, oh, when are you going to take me to the Ritz-Carlton? That, that would be a laugh, right? But when it comes to sexual activity, when a guy says that, the reason why these women get upset is because they know that they're not going to give that. And if they are going to give that, it's because it's after the fact that a man has done all these things and she has her clamps on him and she's got her hand out and he's doing all this stuff and he's being emotional. You know, he's buying her whatever she wants. You know, he's constantly calling her, begging for her attention and all that. So, you know, good on this guy for throwing out the bait because a lot of guys don't do this. A lot of guys straight simp. That's what they do. This shit right here is how you end up in the friend zone. Because if you uh, deal with a woman like this, the first thing she's going to do is future fake you. And if you don't know what that is, it's just leading someone on um, so they can believe that there's some type of uh, 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 ability or some type of chance for, for something to happen in the future. You see what I mean? Yeah, stuff like, yeah, you're really nice. I want to get to know you more. Let's spend more time together. Let's go out uh, and eat again. Let's go to the movies again. Uh, let's go shopping again. Um, I need some help with my car. See, all of these type of things, these are the games that they play. And men just, some men just kind of fall into that role of being the unofficial boyfriend, getting no benefits at all, but providing for these women like they're actually in a relationship. Guys, you have to understand there's a lot of women out there like this that have rosters, weekly rosters. And if they don't have a roster, they're constantly introducing new men for different days for different things. It might be food. It might be emotional tampon. It could be a number of things. You have to be careful. So as a guy, you should always throw these hints out there because believe you me, women are always throwing hints out there. You might not catch them. They might be really subtle, but understand that w some women, women in general can be extremely conniving, extremely manipulative. Okay. They say a lot of things just to see your reaction. So don't think for a moment that a woman is not doing that to you. So you should definitely do that so you can see what's going on. Now, I'm not saying say something crazy like get over here and do it right now or something like that. But you have to throw out these baits. You have to throw out these scenarios to see how these women are going to act. Because if you don't, they're just going to keep playing you. They're just going to keep leading you on. You're just going to be wasting your time with these women when you could be opening up the door for the right woman to come in your life. So don't fall for this. I mean, the fact that she said that she's in Dubai, that's a hell of a red flag right there. You know, and she's like, oh, I'm insulted by it. When people say, oh, you're just a typical woman in Dubai. She's insulted by it because it's true. People don't get upset about things that have nothing to do with them. They don't get upset about things that don't apply to them. It's plain and simple. So when a woman has this type of reaction, she's telling on herself. And look at her. Like I said, she really thinks that she's above average, but she really is not. And that's one of she, I'll put it this way. She wants to portray that she's above average. In her heart of hearts, she knows that she's not, right? That's why she's she's got her breast out. Because when they know that they're below average, one of the biggest things that they do is flaunt their sexuality. Now, that's not to say that women that are above average don't do the same thing. But when you see women that are below average, that have issues uh, getting commitment from men and all of that, a lot of times you find that they r lead very heavily with their sexuality, and that's exactly what she's doing. So this video serves a few purposes for her. She's putting this out there to get che uh, Cheerios or, or, or applause from the women. She's also doing it to try to snare another simp, another guy that's going to get in her comments and say, oh, you're so beautiful. That guy was wrong. And, you know, he should have did that for free and he should have just picked you up and he shouldn't have said this to you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So it's a whole bunch of attention that she's seeking from men, and she's also seeking attention and validation from women at the same time. So, guys, don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid 
to put it out there so you can get some kind of responses because when you start saying certain things to women, all you have to do is just watch their reaction. Because if she wasn't just focused on like what he could do for her, she wouldn't have that reaction to those questions. She would just laugh it off like, oh, you know, man, because women know that men think about sexual activity all the time. They know that we, you know, everything is visual with us. That's why they do what they do. So it's not a shock, but they will sit there and pretend like they're so shocked and they're so mad. How dare you? Or the new thing that they like to say, the audacity. Okay, this is the new thing that they do. If it didn't affect them and it wasn't true, they wouldn't be so mad about it. But she knows that what the guy was saying was true. And the reason why she blocked them, because she knew that there was nothing else that she could do. So I'm just going to block him. I have to pretend like I have so much power, so I'm going to block him. That's pretty much what it is. But, guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. As always, this is just my opinion, and I do want to hear what you have to say. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, definitely make sure to like this video, obviously. And, hey, I'm almost to 5,000 uh, subscribers here on YouTube. And I appreciate you guys so much for helping me get to that. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.